TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good afternoon, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 4 p.m. Eastern time as we reach the closing bell on Friday in the first trading week of 2019. And quite a day it's been. Dow Jones finishing up 741 points, trading at 23,427. S&Ps currently positive by 83, trading at 2531. And the NASDAQ positive by 275 points or solid 4.26%, trading at 6738. As we we finish up that week let's take a look at the vix and as you would expect as this market has continued higher vix 2156 quite a number as there is less fear in this market let's jump over the futures markets we'll finish it up with the dow we'll start 23,399 and most of the acceleration ended at about one o'clock and you'll see the markets kind of just teetered into the afternoon for the final few hours. We got a couple news stories this morning. You had non-farm payrolls started things off 830 this morning, 312,000, quite a number. Expectation had been for one sit 176. You also had wage growth, 3.2% for the year, 0.4% over the previous month. And you then, the, the big juggernaut, Fed Chairman Powell, he was speaking at an event with prior chairwomen, chairmen Bernanke and Yellen, and he had a lot to say that they will be patient with monetary policy as it watches how the economy performs, and there is no preset path for raising rates or adjusting the balance sheet. So he's going to be reacting to the market, to the economy, and the market likes to see that. And back to the charts. So that was your 1030 mark right there. That's when Powell made those remarks. We we're trading at about 23,000. The Dow finishes 400 points above that level. NASDAQ 100 finishing up at about 64.33. S&Ps about 25.30, had made it to about 25.38 at one point. You had crude trading about $49 briefly at about 10.30 this morning, currently trading at 48.19. Gold at 1286 had been as low as about 1278 early in the morning, got a bit of a bid throughout the day. And Euro at 114, basically. And there's your acceleration on those Fed Chairman Powell comments as you have the Euro spiking higher and the dollar with some weakness on what he had to say. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. We'll be back Monday morning, live, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Have a great weekend, everybody.